Okay, so I got a uh, comment. Uh, I kind of attacked the uh, quack watch dude because uh, he needs it. He's a quack. Uh, like I said in one of them, if you find yourself, I, I didn't say this, Zig Ziglar said it. If you point your finger at somebody else, there are three pointing back at you. And uh, this guy is promoting drugs, which kills hundreds of thousands of people a year. Uh, and I got a thing, you know, contesting my thoughts on the uh, crack rocks dude. And it said, oh, a chiropractor. That explains everything. And it used to upset me. Uh, but none of my kids have been inside a hospital except for one that was stitches when I was on the road. Uh, none of my kids are on drugs. Uh, pharmaceutical uh, induced the quote-unquote legal drugs. Um, and uh, I'm really proud of that. Uh, a few years ago, I had a gallbladder attack. At first, I didn't know what it was. I got to the hospital. Then they told me that, they, that it was a gallbladder attack. And it just, I'd never been through it. So I, I read the symptoms, of course, in the book, but never been through it. And it was excruciating. If you ever get a chance to go through it, kind of miss it, because it's just not worth uh, any sort of experience, adventure that you might do. But uh, I got to the hospital. I spent a couple of days there. Uh, on the next day, they said that they were going to come along and they were going to take my gallbladder out. Now, this is this is preventative medicine somehow. Uh, notwithstanding the fact that if you do have your gallbladder taken out, it, your liver has to work twice as hard. I mean, I did quite a bit of research afterwards. Uh, but they came in, and it was a half an hour before the surgery. They were having me put on the thrombosis stockings, which are special stockings, so that if you throw a thrombus while you're in there, at least, um, I don't know, you might not die. But it was 9.30 in the morning, and my surgery was at 10, and I looked at my wife, who just got done, I said, I can't do this. I said, this goes with every principle, every belief system I have. I don't want to do this. And then I got all the pressure. Yeah, well, today's Friday, and uh, tomorrow's Saturday, and I don't have my complete surgical team here. And I said, that's fine. I'm really not worried about the surgical team. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to go through with this. I've had a chance to calm down. Uh, I don't think this is the way to go. And I don't think it is the way to go. I've had two gallbladder attacks. The second one, I went to a kinesiologist, and they found uh, parasites in the gallbladder. And I did a, a uh, parasite cleanse, and boy, did that hurt. But I still have my gallbladder. My liver is working as it should. My gallbladder, I've lost some weight and done some things to handle it. Uh, but if you want some information on the gallbladder series, I'm glad to give it. Give it. I don't believe in medicine. I don't believe they know what they're doing. Uh, this man wrote, oh, a chiropractor. Well, I'd rather live naturally, herbally, acupuncture-wise, chiropractic-wise, than take a bunch of drugs or have the solution of having an organ removed. Because that doesn't seem to make, oh, it's a vestigial organ. Eh, that means you don't need it. Well, I was born with it. I'll keep it. So thanks for the, uh, oh, it's a chiropractor, ho-hum, boring thing. Uh, I'm going to talk to people that really see what I'm saying and uh, don't believe in taking drugs, uh, at least not the legal ones, and uh, live their lives naturally. Have fun. Love you. www.micpeakperformance.com.